This is section 6.6 .6, and we're learning a few more things about matrices. We're going to learn about the identity matrix which you've actually seen a little bit and how to find the inverse of a matrix. Identity matrix is denoted by a capital I and then the, the sub number here tells you the size of the matrix. Either it's 2 by 2, 3 by 3, etc. And you have a 1 and zeros and, z and then the next row has zeros and the one moves over. You're going to have a diagonal of ones. So if you had a four by four, you would just have one more column, I mean one more row with zero, 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 and another one here. And you would have zeros up here. So you have a diagonal of ones, everything else is zeros. Now where we find that on the calculator, if I can make this move, under second matrix, um, go over to math and then number five it says identity. So if we went in and we did that, let's clear everything, we went to second matrix and just like I've got on the screen over to math and number five and you've got identity and if we wanted a four, identity four, hit enter and we would get one zero 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 one zero zero you can see there's this diagonal of ones, everything else is zero. All right, that's called the identity matrix. All right, now let's find the inverse of a matrix. Say, and, and it, it's important to note that if you take a regular matrix and you multiply it by its inverse, you get that identity matrix that we just created. All right, so that's the relationship between inverse and identity. All right, so we're going to find this. Let's go to our calculator. Go to second matrix. Over to edit. And we've got just a two by two. We're going to go over here and put one, three, negative two, four. All right, second quit and I'm going to clear. Alright, so if I were asked to find it, I would put it in as A, then I would go back in and get the name of it, get A. The inverse button is the same one we've been hitting for matrix, just hit it. And so you have a little negative one indicator up there, that means inverse, and we'll hit enter. And you should get um, .4 point negative point three point two point one so those would be the matrix the inverse of that now let's try something let's multiply that by the original and see if we get the identity so we're going to hit multiply that answer multiplied by second matrix a all right enter and what did we get? We got the identity matrix. So a regular one times its inverse will give you the identity. All right, let's go down here. Now sometimes, just like in that one that we just had, if, let me get that back up here, um, A inverse, okay. So we got it in decimals, but maybe in Math Lab you need to have it in fractions. So you can just press math, first options fraction, hit enter, and enter one more time, and you get two fifths, you get the fractions, and you would be able to use those, all right? So that's the same thing that I've shown you here, um, and you can get the fractions you need. If you did this matrix, found its inverse, you get these decimals, math, fraction, and you would get the uh, fractions that you need for math lab. So let's look at some problems. There aren't very many, about six to practice. All right, number one says determine if B is the matrix, the inverse of A. All right, so the easiest way to do that would be to put A in and do A inverse and see if you get this. Or you could multiply these two together and see if you get the um, identity. Well, let's just do 
Let's just do this the easy way. Second matrix. Over to edit, enter. By two, we got one, negative three, negative two, five, enter. So second quit. All right, now let's do second matrix, get A, and inverse, and enter. And we have negative 5, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. So they're similar numbers, but those are negative. So this would be, nope, that cannot be the inverse. Is not the inverse of that. All right. Number two, predict the result of I2 times A and A times I2. So let's first do I2 times A. We'll go in here. We'll go to second matrix. Let's put in A first so that we have it in there to work with. And that'd be 4, 8, 8, 6. All right, second quit. Now we're supposed to do I2 times A. Second matrix. Over to math, number five, identity two, close parentheses, times second matrix, whoops, I must not have hit second. Okay, times the second matrix. A and enter. 4886. So that is this one here. Alright, now they want us to do A times I2. Second matrix A times second matrix. Go to math. 5, 2, close, enter. And we get the same thing, which in this is this choice. Now, we know that math is not necessarily commutative with um, matrices, but when you're multiplying by the identity, it's going to give you the same thing. So you're fine there. All right. Now, number three says without a calculator. All that's going to tell you is that you're supposed to be doing it without a calculator and that the answers probably should be in fractions. So let's go ahead and do this one. Second matrix, and we'll put in 5, 2, 5, 5. All right, second quit. Second matrix, A, inverse, enter. All right, so we got decimals. Let's hit math, enter on fraction and enter. All right, so we get one third, negative two over 15, negative one third, and one third. So we can do that. All right, number four will be the same way. You'll put that in. You'll go back and get the name. Doesn't matter if we call it M or A. I mean, it'll be A in your calculator and you're going to get negative 1, negative 2, 2, 1, 1, negative 1, negative 3, negative 3, 4. All right. Um, this one, same way. Now this says with a calculator, which means, and it says round to the nearest hundredth, so you will get decimals but you don't need to change it. Now, um, I want to show you a trick for this one and for number six. Oh, you got to see my little granddaughter. Um, um, for never, It says hundredth, so you're going to have all of these. They will all come out with lots of decimals and you'd have to be doing the rounding. Let's do that at the start. Let me make this calculator a little bit bigger. Alright, let's go to mode 
and go to float and we want to tell it here this is where we do our rounding we'll say we want two places that we're going to round to all right so our float is at two second quit you don't want to leave it there but for these two problems it'll be good all right i'm going to do the first one with you so we're going to go back into second matrix over to edit enter and we're going to do a three by three all right and we're going to put in what are we on three Bring that up a little bit negative one 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 zero four and then four two two all right so i've got everything in second quit second matrix a inverse enter and these are the answers you get and you can see that they're already rounded to the hundredths so i'll put that here for you 0.22 negative point and it does probably want you to have a zero in front of that i i think i left that one off i think that it'll count it wrong if you don't have that zero i think that's silly but if i remember correctly that may be the case And then number six would be the same thing, and you would do that. So let me put number six's answer here so that you would have that to check. Oh, I am forgetting the zeros. So that should get you there. Now, the only thing I want to remind you is to go back in mode, go to float, and just hit enter on the word float, and then that takes it to where it's not going to cut off any, it's not going to round to anything. So um, that's what you need to do after you finish with those two problems. All right, I think that that will um, do that for section 6-6 pretty easy.